Hello, I'm here. Hi, is this George Moat? This is George Moat. Thanks for pronouncing my name right. Hey, George, can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you well. Excellent. Thank you so much for joining us. It should be fun. Would you tell your team you're a little bit low, and you are on the air, but tell your team you're a little bit low. A little bit low, they're saying. My bike, guys. Well, George, you're, you're on the travel channels. You're doing Burgerland, and I wanted to talk with you because I can't imagine a show just about burgers. Well, here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, what, 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 are we, what are we going to learn about burgers? Well, what we're going to learn about burgers is that, you know, some people think that a burger is just food you put in your mouth to make yourself not hungry anymore. But um, to me, the burger is much larger than that. Uh, there's a lot of history behind the hamburger. I mean, people make burgers. Burgers don't make themselves. So there's lots of great stories about people who make burgers out there who are basically keeping a very important American culinary tradition alive. Okay, so... If, if you're not a burger lover when before you watch Burgerland, do you think you'll be a burger lover later? Definitely, because I'm also a photographer, and we've kept a really close eye on what these burgers look like on camera. And it, we've, we've often said this will become uh, the, the greatest-looking hamburger show you've ever seen. <laughs> well, I believe that. I can really relate, because I know what photographers can take and do to any, any uh, uh, view. You can make it look so appealing. Right. Now, let me ask you, so you're going to travel the country, you're on the travel channel, so I'm thinking you're going to travel the country, right. and it's kind of like looking for the best burger or just great burgers. Well, no, I wrote a book called Hamburger America, and so the, the show is basically the book coming to life, where I actually then get to go and revisit all my, what I call, hamburger heroes, and talk to these guys and gals about, you know, about how, how their business is going, uh, and of course, you know, talk about the great burgers they make. You'll find small mom-and-pop businesses. Will you do, uh, I, I don't know, will you do like the franchises? Because there are some really good franchises that make great burgers now. There are. It's true. There are some, but the, there are so many mom-and-pops that are great out there that we want to stick with those guys mostly. There are a few uh, local chains um, that are franchise local chains that are sort of keeping things as if they were mom-and-pop places. They're, they have a soul, you know. A lot of the larger guys, they tend to sort of lose their way and become kind of soulless in a way. We'd like to try to stick to the, the great American family stories. Okay, so we're going to be watching you travel around, find these mom and pop things, these great burgers. Okay, I got a question that every woman wants to know the answer to. Sure. How do you keep your weight down? <laughs> <laughs> well, if I exercise a lot. I consider my hamburger intake to be a, a, a privilege, not a right, and I treat my body as such. So I do, I have smoothies most, most mornings or juices, I also eat a lot of salad after 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I do not eat hamburgers anymore. Um, when I'm not on camera, I'm not eating a whole lot of hamburgers, though I do do a lot of research. Uh, but mostly it's exercise. And I'm, I've been, I think I'm pretty fortunate. I've had um, a genetically uh, good uh, cholesterol <laughs> so far. <laughs> okay. Over, I'll wrap up with this final question. Tell me what's the best thing about doing Burgerland for the Travel Channel, Channel. And tell me what's the most challenging well, the best thing about doing the show, outside of eating great hamburgers, of course, is talking to people. I love talking to people about the hamburgers that they make, and I'm always shocked to find out the answer to why they actually make hamburgers, and they've been doing it the same way for 100 years or whatever. Uh, and it's usually passion. They have a lot of passion for what they do, and they know how important their place is um, to the American um, you know, fabric. Very important. And the biggest challenge, of course, is you know, understanding that I can't have, when I walk into a place that's that's had burgers, you know, for, uh, you know, on the menu for a hundred years, and I haven't been there in, t you know, in three or four years. I want to eat six or seven of them, but I can only have one or two. <laughs> so we're going to take it. You really like burgers. I love hamburgers, and the more I eat, the more I love them. That that that's such a passion. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure other people are going to follow you because they have that same same passion. When do you want us to watch you on the Travel Channel? Definitely, please. Thank you so much, George Moats. I really appreciate it. I will be watching in fascination. Please know that. Great. Thanks for, thanks for, uh, thanks for this. Thanks for coming on the Balder BB Show. I appreciate it.